Greetings, fellow captains. In today's review, Tier 6 Premium Cruiser London, which can be obtained by completing directives, the Heavy Brits and their new unique commander, upgrade updates, and the 15th ranked season. As usual, there's a vast sea of news, so dive deep. The entire branch of British heavy cruisers will become available for players to research in Update 0.9.1. A new in-game event, British Cruisers Part 2, is dedicated to their arrival. Four directives and 36 missions provide a perfect way to earn in-game items and royal tokens. The main reward for completing the directives is Tier 6 Heavy Cruiser London, with eight 203mm guns, hydroacoustic surge, plus smoke generator and repair party, which are quite unusual for a Tier 6 heavy cruiser. Now, let's explore more details about the Royal Tokens. They can be obtained by completing daily missions, daily challenges for London, Cheshire and Albemarle from daily shipments, and from random bundles in the Armory. We've already prepared a new section in the Armory, British Navy 2, where you can exchange Royal Tokens for various wonderful things. A new unique British commander, Andrew Cunningham, awaits the most persevering captains. One of the most outstanding British fleet commanders of the 20th century, commander of the Mediterranean fleet and the first sea lord. His talents will come in handy for ships of any type. After scoring two caused flooding ribbons, the lightning fast talent activates, which increases the speed of your ship and squadrons by 5%. Consumables Expert kicks in after you destroy two enemy ships, providing you with one additional charge for your ship's consumables. Earning the Witherer achievement will activate the third talent, Sink, Burn and Destroy. It reduces the reload time of your ship's main battery guns and torpedo launchers, as well as aircraft restoration time by 10%. Andrew Cunningham has also improved Jack of All Trades and aircraft armor skills. Good news for fans of Ranked Battles, the 15th season is starting. Battles will involve playing Tier 10 ships in a 7 vs 7 format in the updated arms race mode from February 26th until March 24th. You can read more about it in a dedicated article on our website. Another important piece of news, upgrades enjoy some major updates in Update 0.9.1. That's why you'll be able to dismount them for free throughout the week after the release of the update. Expect a plethora of changes. Some completely new upgrades have been added, while others have been replaced, and many of the remaining upgrades have been changed. All special upgrades that improve ship consumables can now be installed on ships of any type and tier, as long as the corresponding slots are available, of course. We are continuing to polish the interface. A pop-up tooltip providing detailed information has been added to every item of the AA Defense Performance Characteristics in the port. The information about the status of your AA Defenses in battle, which can be viewed by pressing H, has been changed as well. The armament panel has been recreated with new technology, and the icons and display of indicators have also been changed. Our geography is also expanding. In Update 0.9.1, those playing Tier 6 through 10 ships will battle in the harsh waters of the Northern Seas, among picturesque islands covered with snow. The new Northern Waters map is designed for battles in the epicenter and domination modes, with three key areas. Some more news about the Armory. The new update will also bring a unique historical commander, who you're probably already familiar with, Philippe Abuano, with three talents and the improved survivability expert skill. I must warn our collectors, starting with update 0.9.3, some ships will be removed from the armory. You have approximately two months to accumulate the resources necessary to obtain them. Later on, some new ships will be added. You can read more details about this on our website. Finally, the service record has been greatly reworked. Many in-game features will now be unlocked faster. The order in which they are unlocked has changed slightly, and the rewards have been improved. The most pleasant part of this is that players will get all the new rewards for any already completed stages. That is, of course, except for any rewards that have already been obtained. So be sure to launch the game and collect your rewards. That's all for today. Head over to our website for more details. My name is Dasha Padova. Until next time, Captains.
подожди. Тебе что, не понравилось? Да, 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 да. Мачка, маха, маха, маха. С тремя талантами. 